Ford is sitting on a ton of inventory in their F-150, but they're starting to figure out how to move it. So Ford is sitting there, 104 days inventory, where this one's looking at. But they're uh, really turning or uh, moving some metal, depending on how you want to look at it, uh, getting the numbers. Their uh, sales are up year over year. They're really turning them. The Lightning, something they've been sitting on dealer lots like crazy. They've come up with some lease offers. So it's kind of what they're doing. Uh, in, interest rate doesn't hurt either. And they're doing some longer, longer period. 72 months on this, and I'm seeing um, 84 months on the... Uh, the gasser so Ford is really doing what they can to move the metal when you're looking at the Ford incentives though watch the uh, down payment a lot of times they're looking for more like a 10% down and they'll push some of the vehicles like this 2.7 liter EcoBoost I, I some people say it's okay it depends on what you're using it for if it's gonna have enough power there is uh, Separate so they've got the incentives separated for the uh, Lightnings The 2024 gassers and the 2025 gassers. So there's a little bit different Programs going on out there all together So here's the pricing offers and we're looking at the 2024 lightnings They've got some decent lease offers So I think that's what they've decided to kind of focus on to get these moved is to get some leases going it's a good way to get vehicles back to dealer lots at some point so they can sell them again a lot of times there's more money made the second time they sell them than the first time they sell them but if you're looking for a lease just watch the uh, down payment and all the small print some of these uh, purchase options there's a lot of assumptions made about different incentives if you qualify like some of these additional offers Sometimes they'll assume you qualify for all of these. And if you qualify for all of these, like it would take a bunch of money off. So that's where they throw you off is you, I mean, nobody qualifies for all of them because like one is a, a F-150 red carpet lease return and another is a, that you have a Dodge Ram that you're trading in. So I mean, you, you can't qualify for all of them. But some of them. The Farm Bureau one is interesting because I believe anybody can join the Farm Bureau. So if you buy new vehicles, uh, I believe Ford has had this for a long time, that if you uh, are a member of the Farm Bureau, you get $500 off. So if you buy new Fords periodically, I'd look at becoming a Farm Bureau member just to get that discount, if nothing else. I'm sure the Farm Bureau would appreciate your, uh, your membership dues. So watch the fine print. The, the incentives are getting better. Do your homework. Look for a vehicle to buy. Uh, 2024's gassers have got some decent offers out there too. Same thing, they've got their featured deals which are a little better, but again, that uh, cash down on a lease is kind of hard because you turn that in and that cash is gone. So that's, that's basically buying down your rate. And there's a bunch of other uh, lease deals for the uh, F-150. Ford's got to move metal. They sell so many of these things, and they've been kind of backing up on lots. I think they've just built too high of trim levels, and they need to make more of the, uh, like the XLs and put a better price on them. I, I don't really see anything on dealer lots. Basically, nothing out there under 50000 And that's kind of a hefty payment and uh, some pretty hefty depreciation if you've got to sit on it a lot of these additional offers are the same on all the different vehicles so that is something to keep in mind but the featured offers are pretty good I mean 510 bucks for a lease payment not bad if you can get past the down payment but even these uh, some of these finance deals if you can swing the payment get the price or get the vehicle paid off F-150 you can drive a long time if you don't put a crazy amount of miles on this has got the aluminum body, so it's not going to rust out on you. Okay, the frame could rust out, but, you know, rust protect that frame and uh, take care of it. And you could drive this thing a crazy long time. Maybe not the uh, best mileage for a commuter, but depends on what you're using it for. These newer trucks can have some serious longevity. 
The uh, Lightning maybe has a little bit left to prove, but the uh, gas vehicles, uh, those engines have been lasting a long time. So Ford is uh, making some changes and making some traction, getting some vehicles sold. If you're looking for a truck, pay attention to what they're doing. They might have a deal that'll work for you. All right, thank you.